Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 6.1, Integers Lesson. Pause while you write Section 6.1 Lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write Lesson Objective, Write and Graph Integers in your math notebook. Today we'll be starting on page 250 in your math textbook. Let's start with example one, writing positive and negative integers. Our first direction is to write a positive or negative integer that represents the situation. Letter A, a contestant gains 250 points on a game show. The word gains indicates a number greater than zero, so we would use a positive integer plus 250 or 250. Letter B, gasoline freezes at 40 degrees below zero. Below zero indicates a number less than zero, so we would use a negative integer, negative 40. Example two is on page 251. It says graph each integer and its opposite. So letter A, the integer is 3. So we would graph 3 on the number line, and then its opposite is negative 3. So negative 3 is the same distance from 0 as 3, so that's what makes it the opposite. Letter B, we're looking at negative 2, so its opposite is positive 2, or 2, because it's the same distance from 0 as negative 2. Let's look at our little tip box over here. It says reading. You can think of the negative sign as referring to the opposite of a number. In example 2b, you can read negative 2 as the opposite of 2. Example 3, real life application. You deliver flowers to an office building. You enter at ground level and go down two floors to make the first delivery. Then you go up seven floors to make the second delivery. We're going to write an integer that represents each position. So we enter at ground level, so that's zero. And then we go down two floors, so that's negative two. And then we go up seven floors, so that's positive seven. So you can see that drawn on the vertical number line to the right. Letter B says write an integer that represents how you return to ground level. Use a number line to model your movement as shown. So the second delivery is on the fifth floor because we went up seven floors. We didn't go up to the seventh floor. We went up seven floors. The second delivery is on the fifth floor. And we must go down five floors to return to ground level. So if we want to go to ground level, we have to go to zero. So that's going down five floors. So the integer representing down five floors is negative 5. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the On Your Own Problems 1 through 9 below. They are also on pages 250 to 251 of your math textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson you must complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.